Hey, hey, hey! What's coming up next? It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. <laughs> on the gorgeous YouTube dog show for with Emily Blunt's house. It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. That's right, we can out there with Ellie Mueller. And now, he is the man who thinks that Emily Blunt is a little too loopy for anybody's taste. I mean, seriously, how on earth did he even get a career in the first place? I mean, seriously, Mr. Ellie Cunningham. Mueller. Ha! Welcome, we can out there. I'm Ellie Cunningham. Mueller. What's up, Chris Hoppers? All right, good show tonight, good show tonight. All right, uh, Kobe, cool, the camera lady. They do excellent work on uh, their channels with their plays and their songs and everything else. You know what, they're also a uh, part of uh, this program. You know, you'll uh, see them uh, later on during the World of Animals and you'll, uh, excuse me, you'll see them every night, you know, with the World of Animals and with you know, talking time and everything else, all right? You know, and also, please pray for the camera lady because tomorrow she is having her uh, neck surgery and, you know, she's really scared about that. So please send her uh, some love and send her some prayers. Also, send her and DLR from uh, the Kirby crew uh, some love because uh, tomorrow is also their birthday. You know, and I want to thank them for all the love and support that they have uh, shown me. I mean, they, uh, they have, uh, given, to, uh, <clears throat> I want to thank them for all the love and support that I have received from them, and I uh, give them a lot of love and a lot of support as well, so I want you all to do the same thing, uh, for them as well. Also, Alex case, uh, Toon Hub with some, uh, some cartoons and whatnot, William Bean, I'm with some comic dubs, Rob Corley with this, Rob Corley show and, uh, musical performances, Julian Villarreal with some, uh, some interesting uh, Wii uh, videos and the Maryland uh, Ralph Banner all things related to trains and why this Chris and CC went with, uh, with a few random stuff. All right, all right. I think that we have taken care of that. All right, what's up, what's up, what's up? Here we go. Oh, by the way, before we get into what's up, the question again, you know, for the comments of the week. It's on my community tab, all right? You know, you, as you know, I used to have a girlfriend uh, on this program by the name of Susan Kane. You know, there was a little bit of, uh, a little bit of an issue behind the scenes. The issue escalated. Everybody left the show. Susan Kane, uh, you know, I broke up and started uh, dating uh, Drake Bell and Josh Beck. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. All right. So, question now for the card of the week for this week. It's a two-part. All right. You think that Susan Kane will always hate me? And do you uh, think that she'll be a lot happier without me in her life? All right? You only have a couple more days to uh, respond to that community post. All right? So please, hurry up. Now, what's up? What's up with Emily Blunt, a woman who love, uh, a woman who movie theaters love the most? Well, it's true. She received some blunt advice from Tom Cruise a while ago that made him look like a bad guy in front of her fans. He told her to stop fooling around. He said in a dirty way, though, and I'm not going to repeat exactly what he said because then that's going to get me into uh, some trouble. I don't want that, all right? Now listen up. He recently was deemed responsible for helping her man, John Krasinski, grow as an actor. How? I mean, apparently she pushes him. She pushes him. Wow. Wasn't that supposed to be his parents' job? Eh. Alright. MP, think that. Let's do this thing. It's time for another top eight list. Let's go. Top eight list. Here we go. Thanks, boss. Nice guy. Go ahead. Top eight words that can be used to describe Emily Blunt. Number eight, goofy. Number seven, scared. Number six, bossy. Number five, brave. Number four, odd. Number three, nervous. Number two, fishy. And number one, sneaky. Sneaky? We don't ask questions about the top eight list. All right? All right. 
Boys, thank you. Thank you. You know about the comment of the week. You know about the comment of the week, right? Good, because I just told you. All right? So uh, please hurry up with that, okay? Hashtag every real play night. Hashtag spread love around. Hashtag... No weekly no update. Hashtag weekly no update. Hashtag uh, LMU for late night. Hashtag spread love around. There you go. Spread those hashtags around. Also, like this thing, subscribe, and about share with the channel for the comment section down below, okay? We got more coming at you with the world around us and your talking time. Right after this, this is still weekly no update, and here it is, your bar. All right, let's go. I'm an adult. I do grown up things. Independence. Mommy, what are taxes? Some creatures landed from outer space, they gave up a funny green light. They said they traveled to our planet just to watch Nick at night. You've been thinking about new carpeting, haven't you? I can tell. Well, you know who has the good stuff, don't you? Empire. You know who delivers in three to four days? You know whose prices start at only $6.95 a yard, including padding and installation? You know who offers credit terms with no installment payment for 60 days? And you know who gives you a free bristle rug shampoo with two rooms or more? So you just march right over to that telephone and call us right now. Because you know the number two, don't you? Right. 588-2300. Don't you dare call anybody else. Scott and the boys. Hey, Ed, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, I got a question for you. Go ahead. We well, had uh, a woman by the name of Susan King uh, as your girlfriend, right? Yeah, for a while, yeah. Uh, my question to you is: Is uh, does Susan King uh, wish uh, the worst uh, for you now that uh, you two have broken up and uh, everything that uh, happened? Uh, even though, uh, almost all, even though most of the people who have left uh, the show, uh, said that they don't, uh, said that uh, they don't, uh, wish me, uh, the worst, you know, Susan Kane literally, uh, said, you know, in no, uh, in no uncertain terms, mind you, she literally, uh, told me as, as uh, she was leaving, <clears throat> You know you'll never get on uh, late night TV. You know what? So uh, good luck uh, doing this show for the rest of your life, pal. Because that's where you're gonna be. Ooh, that's rough. I know. I mean, Susan Kane is just bad news. Wow, bad news, huh? Yeah, and I'm not going to get into uh, that because I'll tell you. You know what? Uh, She'll just uh, get even angrier. But I do want to uh, give you folks some good news. And that is, of course, you know, uh, we have a new episode of World Ramness coming at you right now. And this is going to be a good one. Check it. Hark! Hark! Did you hear? Did you hear the sounds of birds chirping? So did I. That means it's time for something that everybody loves! The world of randomness! Yeehaw! Ugh! What took you so long? I'm sorry! I had to go use the bathroom! Oh, what the crap? What? What the crap? <gasps> Those two girls are banging it! Yeah! Not that only they're using the butter. That is the worst kind of butter I have ever seen. Ooh, yeah! I love the butter. So long, so slippery, so wet. I 
absolutely wanted to say to all of the people who really do love butter, but I am not going to eat that. Don't knock out that butter unless you try it. Ugh. Sticks and stones, I'm about to eat that butter. Hey, would you like to um try out the new butter? Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Try out the butter. And try not to absolutely say something about your coconut up on the top of your chest. So uh, please make sure that um you don't put them in there. Okay? Okay? Yeah. I'm not! Me too! The fact that her coconuts are shaped so big, like an ominous shape. How would you know that, Henderson? How in the crap do you know what coconuts are shaped like? How in the crap? Crap! Well, it all started in, in Illinois. That's not even a real place. Or is it? Ugh. Mmm. Now this is one tasty butter. Yeah, the butter is so good. Hey, uh, you got something on your chest there. Let me get that. Oh. Oh, yes. I must thank you. You know, I should really just go on over there. Uh, I think you should just move out. Don't knock it off until you try it. Get out now. Okay, fine. Ugh. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, um, I just wanted to let you know that the butter looks really good right now. You should totally try the butter. Yeah, it's so good, and it's so wet and long, and it makes it even better for your rolls. Oh, I will try it. Well, bon appetit. Sweet. Oh, for crap's sake. Do not eat that butter! This has been another installment of the World of Adonis. Don't you just love those birds chirping? This has been a production of Cassie Shoes in association with Nick at Night. Every member when late night TV breaks, we fix it. That was fantastic. I mean, that was fantastic. I can't believe that. There are uh, so many ways of uh, entertaining uh, the people, you know, with uh, you know, with dolls and, and interesting uh, stories and plot lines and things like that. That is just incredible. But I'll tell you what else is incredible. Talking time. Let's go, huh? Hey, do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's talking time to know what Ellie is talking about. So, let's talk about it. Yay! Well, I never thought I'd say this, but Emily Blunt should stay away from Tom Cruise. All right, almost 10 years ago, Emily and Tom were working on a movie together entitled Edge of Tomorrow. And Emily was having a, a tough time with her heavy uh, costume. Tom Cruise told her, come on, stop, okay? Now, I'm not going to uh, repeat uh, the other uh, stuff, even though they are, uh, they are in this article, and I apologize uh, 
for that, you know, oh boy, I'm telling you folks, okay, Tom Cruise was really being vulgar, all right, and if anybody had uh, said, you know, that Tom Cruise was going to be friends with Emily Blunt anymore, then, you know what, you will be smart. However, the same could not be said about what happened after that. You know, because uh, Emily Blunt uh, said that she laughed, and and then she told everybody that they got through it. Shame, 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 shame. I mean, seriously. You know, Emily. You know, uh, also explained that uh, the entire story was taken literally and absurdly out of context. You know, and Emily Blunt uh, thought of uh, Tom as a good friend. Uh, there are so many things wrong with that that I'm not even going to, uh, I'm not even going to discuss. However, I am going to discuss I mean, I am going to talk about, I'm going to discuss this with you. I'm going to talk about uh, what uh, Emily uh, means to uh, John Krasinski with you. We're going to have a talk about this. Right, let's just put it that way. There, yeah, that's better. You know, you know what, as you know, uh, John Krasinski uh, plays uh, Jack Ryan in uh, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, right? And much like uh, Jack Ryan, who always has uh, friends who could uh, help him out, excuse me, John Krasinski says that he has someone who, who he can always count on whenever something happens. His wife, Emily Blunt. Now, this is what he says about uh, Emily Blunt. He says, I wouldn't be anywhere in my life without her. On a daily basis, but certainly in a career-wise, as a dad, she pushes me to be better every single day at everything I do. So I look forward to the next day because I know it will be better than the one before. That's great. Of course, there's one thing that I don't understand, all right? Why didn't we get uh, you know, something like that earlier on? You know, and even more importantly, why didn't John back uh, Emily up when, uh, when Tom Cruise said that vulgar uh, message, you know, to Miss Blunt almost 10 years ago? Hmm. Something is just not right. You know, and one of these days, we're going to find that out. We'll find that out sooner or later. Right now, I think it's time to uh, wrap this thing up. I'm serious. We got to wrap this thing up because this is really getting out of uh, control. Now, I'll see you folks tomorrow. That's the news. I'm out. Keys. Pro wall by pro wall. Some creatures landed from outer space, they gave off a funny green light. They said they'd travel to our planet just to watch Nick at night.